Well, traffic is flowing once again tonight on Interstate 15. It was closed through the weekend for the Tropicana project. If you take Tropicana, there are new changes. Joe Muller is live at the 15 and Trop to break down the changes for us. Joe. Well, hey there, Trisha. There are a lot of changes here at Trop in the 15, but I just got off the phone with the Nevada Department of Transportation, the public information officer there who tells me there's actually going to be even more changes tonight because of the confusing setup here. They will be closing down Tropicana from 11 p.m. till 4 a.m. tonight uh, through tomorrow morning to make this uh, more simple here. Take a live look here at Tropicana going over the 15. You can see uh, traffic is backing up here. We've seen several people almost getting a number of accidents here, and uh, a lot of drivers are pretty confused. Looks like it's still complicated. The drive across Tropicana looks a little different. Confusing. Uh, we couldn't, we didn't know if we could make a left. Greg Moore says the new temporary configuration isn't the easiest driving pattern. He noticed some confused drivers. People trying to get off the freeway, not sure what lane to pick. Nevada Department of Transportation tore down half the Tropicana Bridge during a closure of Interstate 15 for two and a half days. Uh, if you look at that bridge now, half of it is completely gone. Justin Hopkins from NDOT says now the drive on Tropicana over the freeway is different. There's what we call a diverging diamond interchange. If you don't drive on them often, it might catch you off guard. This is a map over the diamond interchange. Come up like you would normally drive on the right-hand side of the road, and you'll come to a signal, and then you'll find yourself suddenly on the left-hand side of the road, and then you move back over to the right. Channel 13 caught a number of people getting confused by the setup, driving on the wrong side. Hopkins says drivers should be aware of the changes that will last months. The diverging diamond is supposed to reduce crashes. It enables them to move through more safely and efficiently with a signalized intersection when we're at a reduced capacity like that. Tropicana is expected to be like this for another nine months as this phase is finished. The diamond configuration will then be put on the newly built north side of Tropicana for the remainder of the project. Back out here live looking at Tropicana, looking east, you can see uh, the brake lights piling up there. We've seen that throughout the day. Some people getting confused here. Again, Tropicana will be closing tonight starting at 11 p.m. To, through tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. to make this a little more simple and a little more clear for drivers who are getting confused. Now, this will happen for another nine months here, and then another diverging diamond interchange will be set up when that other bridge is built. Uh, the, as far as closures for the 15, though, those are over for about nine months. In nine months, they'll be closing it once again. This project runs through 2025. We're reporting live near this trip. I'm Joe Mulder.